Oh, look who it is, Bobo. Oh. <laughs> Listen, I have some breaking news. If everybody wants to tune in to News 13, I'll be on every hour on the hour, five, six, seven, all the way up. I did another for the third time they called me back on safety about being a good Samaritan and what to do, what not to do if someone has a flat tire. Every hour on the hour. <laughs> <laughs> now, like, yeah. Just looking at the video, you know, Bobo does a weird thing. He wears a police hat, and it kind of like I think he kind of tries to insinuate that he has some authority. Like it makes him look like he's a policeman. What do you mean not. he wears? I'm he's like Bobo. Captain Kangaroo. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, like Captain Kangaroo was only Captain of Kangaroos. <laughs> if you had the sound off and you were just walking by the TV, you'd be like, "Oh, there's a person in authority, maybe a police officer." Want to hear Bobo discussing the dangers of bike riding in Florida on Channel 13? Sure. I mean, just to hear Let what he's up to. Let me hear what Officer Bobo right. is saying. From his many years as a driving instructor in New York and now Florida, Steve Bowie is alarmed by the way cars and bikes interact with each other when sharing the road. As you know, cars and trucks don't mix, and cars and bicyclists certainly don't mix on our roads. He says the main issues have to do with distracted drivers and bike lanes. Sometimes the bike lanes would just abruptly end. No warning, nothing. There would be no bike lane, no shoulder in the road for the bicyclist. That puts him in grave danger. What's a bicyclist to do? Well, according to Steve, he thinks you should avoid the road in its entirety. Beautiful trails that go for miles, right down here on 434. You, you can ride to your heart's content. You don't have to deal with vehicles. Steve Bowie knows that for now, bicyclists will continue to use busy roads. So at the very least, he advises bikers to wear brightly colored helmets and shirts. The more visibility you have, the more you can be seen by other drivers on the road. <laughs> you wear a police hat and a cape. The more visibility you have, the more you will be seen. Wear a hat with a propeller. Bobo. Yes. We're looking at yes. you on TV. What's with the police hat? Am I now? No. no. <laughs> Every hour. What's with the police hat that you wear? Oh, I got, I got that a while back from the. That's my friend. Um, my friend John. Yeah, you never mind your friend John. Your friend John's probably a policeman. He is. He yeah, but you're not. I know, but he says, here, take this. I, I want you to have it. I, I taught with him for 12 years. He was part of my team, my safety team. So you don't but know that about But, but don't you the- think it's misleading to be wearing a, a police hat when you're being interviewed about something? No, because I don't have a badge. I'm not having a badge. But why don't you dress up like an astronaut, like a full, like you're landing on the moon for your next interview? You know what it is? It's part of the safety gig. Because I taught with safety for years, and it's, and this is the same thing I'm doing today down here in Florida. Yeah, but you're not a police officer. Now, let me ask you something, because I wear a John Cena hat. Does that imply that I'm a wrestler now? Oh, come on. You know I mean, the difference. On. You put on the policeman's hat so people will think you're a cop. No, no. I, 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 if someone and said, by the way, in Florida, impersonating a police officer is a third-degree felony, my friend. Well, no, well, I live to all fans of mine. This whole town is fans of mine. I'm a genius. All right. Thanks, really? Bobo. He's amazing. I love I'm him. a genius, he says, with such authority. <laughs> kind of is. I mean, who else gets on Channel 13? <laughs>